Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of the Godot engine, which is 4.2. We're going to use Visual Studio Code as our code editor, and we're going to use .NET 8 as our compiler. So start by searching for .NET 8 in your favorite search engine, then click here on download. Then download the x64 version for Windows here, and this is automatically going to start the download for us. I'm going to run this guy, then click on install. And then click on yes. This will take a while, so I will fast forward this for you guys. Once the installation is complete, click on close. Then go to code.wishstudio.com and download the latest stable build for Windows. And this is automatically going to start the download for us. It's going to run the file here. Then accept the agreement and click on next. Click on next and click on install. Once it's completed, Keep this checkbox checked and click on finish. Once Visual Studio Code starts up, go here to extensions, then search for C Sharp. And they have changed the icon, so it's now the white text on this blue diamond. So I click on this guy and click on install. To install the C Sharp dev kit is optional. You don't need it, but I'm going to install it anyways. All right. Now let's go here to go.danio.org. And click here on download latest and click here on go.engine.net and this is automatically going to start the download for us and once the zip file is downloaded we can open this guy in the file manager i'm going to bring out my desktop in the background i have the file in my downloads folder so i'm going to double click this guy i'm going to right click and click on copy and i'm going to go to my c drive to my go dot folder and i'm going to paste this guy in and this will unzip the folder for us I go into this folder. I'm going to take the executable and hold down the Alt key. I'm just going to release the left mouse button. And this will create a link on my desktop. Like so. And we can now start the go.engine. When the go.engine starts up, click on cancel. And we click here on new. And we're just going to call this uh, test project. I'm going to create the folder. I'm going to click here on create and edit. Here we want to go into editor and click on edit the settings. Then scroll all the way to the bottom here. You're going to find .NET Then click on editor and make sure this is set to Visual Studio Code here in the drop down. Then click on close. Next, we're going to create the main scene. So click here on 2D scene. You're just going to type in main. Then go here to scene, save scene. Click on create folder. I'm going to call this scenes and I'm going to save this as main.tscn in here like so. Next, right click the main node, click on add child node, we're going to find the sprite 2D, this guy here, and click on create. I'm going to drag in the icon.svg file on this guy. We can go to transform, let's set this guy to something like 350, so it's going to be down in the middle. And for the X position, set this to 100, like so. So we have a starting position for this guy. Next, right click the main node, click on attach script. Select C Sharp script in the drop down. I click on create here. And this will open up the script for us. And in here, I'm going to add some simple code. We're just going to create a vector 2 for some speed. And we're going to have a reference to a sprite. And we're going to get the sprite, which is a sprite 2D we created inside the go.engine. This guy right here. So we're going to grab that node. And when the process method is running, we're just going to move the sprite position with the speed we have multiplied with the delta. And once the sprite goes above a thousand pixels, we're going to move the sprite back to the beginning of the window. Now we're going to go here to run a debug. I'm going to click here on create a JSON launch file. I click here on C sharp. And what you want to do now is to find this little add configuration button down here. So click on this guy. Then first add the remote debugging attached to .NET process here. And secondly, click this guy again, and I'll go and add the launch executable file. Next, we can remove the pipe transport here. It's not needed. It's only used for remote debugging to another machine. So we can remove those lines. And here is where we want to put the path to our go.executable. Bring up our file explorer. I'm going to go to go. and the 4.2 folder. Click up here, then do a control copy to get the path. And inside of the program path here, we're going to add this guy. Next, change the backslashes to forward slashes. Add a slash at the end. Go back to the go.engine folder. 
right click on the file here, click on rename, press Ctrl C to copy the name, press escape to cancel, go back here and add the executable name to the end and add .exe here, like so. Save the file. Next, we're gonna go back here to the go.engine because we have to make a build for this guy. We're gonna click here on play and it's gonna say no main scene has ever been defined. Select one, so we're gonna select the main scene here. This is gonna build the project and create the project files and everything for us. And this guy will be running and when he reaches a thousand pixels, it's gonna jump back to the beginning. And close this guy down. Next, go back to the Visual Studio Code Editor. And now we're gonna click here on play for the run and debug. And it's going to say it could not find the task build. So click on configure task. Then click here on create the task JSON file from a template. Then click here on .NET Core. And if you now click on play, this is going to launch our application. So if we go to our main script here, we're going to add a debug point in here. The debug point is going to be hit. It's going to bring this guy out so you can see what's going on. So if we press here on continue, you see it's moving and it's hitting our breakpoint, and we can go F10 and step through the code and so forth. Let's click on stop here. We can do this the other way around. We can first start the application here in the go.editor. I click here on the debug settings, and we can choose .NET Core Attach. And we click on play. Then search for go.in here. And if you hover this guy down here, you can see it's going to say a remote debug, and this is the guy we want to attach to. And we have now attached to the process here that is running. So we can detach here. All right, guys, this is how you set up the latest version of the Godadendian 4.2 with .NET 8. And we wish you to do code as your editor and also how you can start debugging your product. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and see you in the next video. Bye for now.